G'day folks, it's Rob here and welcome to the aquaponics area in our small little backyard farm. In today's clip I'm going to be covering a, quest a couple of questions actually. What is aquaponics and how does it work? And then we'll run through a couple of pros and cons as I see it to setting up a small little backyard aquaponics system like we have behind us here. So we'll hook straight on into it and answer the question what is aquaponics? Well aquaponics is the combination of two food production systems the first being aquaculture which is the raising of fish in a controlled environment and the second being hydroponics which is the growing of plants in a soilless medium using nutrient rich water when these two are combined they form a symbiotic relationship or polyculture called aquaponics now by themselves both aquaculture and hydroponics create a large amount of wastewater which needs to either be filtered uh, which can be quite expensive and added back into the system or in some cases depending on the local laws can be dumped straight into drains and waterways which can cause huge amounts of damage to the local environment and ecosystems so when hydroponics is integrated into the aquaculture system we get to conserve a lot of the water it gets recycled through the system over and over with very little actually going to waste Plus, we also get the added benefit of faster plant growth rates that you traditionally see in most hydroponic systems. The reason aquaponics is so great at recycling water through the system rather than sending it out to waste is because of some naturally occurring nitrifying bacteria. They're all around us in the atmosphere, in the soil, in the water, different families, different genus. So these nitrifying bacteria obtain their energy by oxidizing ammonia and nitrite from the water in the system and turning it into plant available nitrate which isn't toxic to the fish in the aquaponic systems. So I really do think that these bacteria are the backbone of the system. They really do perform the, the key role of bringing these two systems together. More about those guys in a moment, but for now we'll have a bit of a look at how an aquaponic system works and how the water flows through and gets clean for the fish. Well, to begin with, we need to put some sort of nutrient into the system and that's where the fish feed comes in. We drop a couple of pellets in, the fish will eat it, they'll assimilate the majority of it into their own growth and then the rest of it has to be passed through. Now, the majority of the ammonia will be excreted through the respiratory system or the gills of the fish with a smaller amount of it leaving out the back passage or the cloaca with the solids waste. The ammonia and waste rich water is taken from the fish tank and delivered into a grow bed. The grow beds are made up of media and this media provides a home for the nitrifying bacteria to live in. So the ammonia enters and the first lot of bacteria gets to work on oxidizing it. These bacteria are called nitrous ammonas. They will oxidize ammonia into nitrite. From there, the nitrite is oxidized by another genus of bacteria called nitrobacter and they turn the nitrite into the plant available nitrate or NO3. So the nitrate is then taken up by the roots of the plants where it's used to facilitate their growth and the clean water is delivered back into the fish tank ready to be loaded up with more ammonia and solids waste to go through the cycle again and again and again. So when it comes to the aquaponic systems themselves and their design and their layout, there's a whole host of different ways you can um, configure them. So I'm not going to go into them in this clip here, but I will be looking at them in follow-up clips. So if you'd like to have a look at those clips and learn a little bit more about aquaponics, all you need to do is hit that little subscribe button down there and check the little bell icon when it appears and you'll be sent a notification whenever I upload an aquaponic clip to this channel. You can come along and say good day and check it out. Uh, but for now, I think we'll move on to the pros and cons of having your own aquaponic system in the backyard. So one of the largest reasons that holds people back from starting an aquaponic system, if they've been to a course or visited a shop, is the price of the system itself. But in saying that, if you are quite handy, it is fairly cheap to make your own aquaponic system out of recycled drums, containers, troughs, and the commonly seen caged IBC tanks. These systems um, do require a little bit of handyman knowledge, because you're using power tools and such, which can be another drawback. But if you have the ability to source these materials and you have the tools on hand, they will reduce the cost of your startup system dramatically. Another big whammy when it comes to the cost is a lot of people will see the uh, little clay balls like we use in our system here. Those things can be quite expensive, up to a dollar a litre to purchase them and use them in the system. Now, there are cheaper alternatives, much cheaper alternatives. There's things like River Rock. Um, over here, we use basalt, which is also known as 
road base or blue metal. Rather cheap when you buy them from the landscape suppliers and they're, they're basically a fraction of the cost of the clay media. The one downside is clay media is very light, uh, the rocks are heavy naturally so you have to make sure you have a nice solid stand for the grow beds or you could uh, end up with a few issues down the line like grow beds sinking into the soil. Another con that some people have pointed out with a system like ours is we need to run the power 24 hours a day. The reason behind that is we need the water constantly being filtered and cleaned so the fish are as healthy as can be. Now, we're rather lucky in that we have a feed-in solar system on the roof of our house. It feeds back into the grid. So our, uh, uh, the electricity we use in our system is subsidised to a point. Now, you can set up your aquaponic system, depending on its size, on various DC voltages. Uh, a small system could run fine on a small 12-volt system. A large system like ours would need a 24-volt system, I think. Having them hooked up to solar is actually seen as a pro to a lot of people who um, want to live as sustainably as possible and not draw any more energy from the grid. So that's something you might want to keep in mind. Another con could be, um, depending on the species of fish you use, the need to buy a commercial fish feed basically because you want your fish to be as healthy as possible and some do have particular nutrient requirements. There are other fish though that you can get away with feeding uh, things like duckweed and azolla and also raising your own um, compost worms, black soldier fly larvae and also mealworms. Uh, you just need to do a little bit of research and find which species of fish would be the best for your application if you want to look at growing your own feed for them. So enough of the cons and on to the numerous pros of why a lot of people think it's a great idea to grow with aquaponics. Firstly, a lot of people are attracted because it is an organic growing system. Uh, basically fish and the bacteria as well in the grow beds, they are very susceptible to harsh toxic chemicals. So you can't just spray any old insecticide in there to look after aphids, even though sometimes I would really like to take a flamethrower to them. So it's just one of those things you need to grow as cleanly as possible. On the upside, you end up with great nutritious food that you can share around with your family and friends, knowing that there's no harsh toxic chemicals on there. The second reason a lot of people want to get into aquaponics is it's seen as a very sustainable use of our water resources. The water in the system is recycled round and round with very little going to waste other than a transpiration from the plants themselves, a little bit of evaporation and in some systems people will have a solids filter. Some of that water is used to evacuate those solids out of the system. I've also come across a number of people who want to um, stop relying on ocean caught fish for a couple of different reasons so that's what's drawn them to um, setting up aquaponic system. Aquaponics also tend to have very little if no weeds at all. We've had a couple pop up in here uh, from when birds and other um, animals have deposited their waste in there. We've had things like tomatoes, some native gum trees have sprouted in there and the devil's fig but that's pretty much well it. We don't have to spend hours on the weekend out here pulling out weeds and bits and pieces like that so that is seen as a big plus by a lot of people. As I mentioned before because we're using high hydroponic growing methods with nutrient rich water, we're also able to get very fast growth rates on some plants, particularly the greens in aquaponic systems. So we've been able to turn over plants like um, Asian greens, bok choy, in a number of weeks from the time they've gone in as seedlings to being harvested and taken into the kitchen. Another pro for aquaponics is they actually have a very small footprint for the amount of food that they can produce. So if you've only got a uh, balcony in a, an apartment block or a small courtyard in a townhouse, you can actually grow a lot more food in there than you possibly could if you were growing in containers or in the soil itself. You've got the added benefit that um, with most systems like ours, they're raised and off the ground, so they're able to get a little bit more sunlight, which is a bit of a premium in some courtyard-based areas. Now, that brings me on to another point. Our beds are raised off the ground, which make them excellent for people who have mobility issues, people who can't get down to tend garden beds in, you know, traditional soil garden beds, find it quite easy to walk around an aquaponic system where the beds are all at waist height. You can also use these systems indoors. So if you're in an area like um, the northern states of America or in Antarctica, you can actually set up an aquaponic system and grow under lights. Uh, the fish don't require a great amount of UV light 
light and you can buy very efficient LED lights now for the plant side of things. It'll especially come in handy through winter when most people in your neighborhood will have to wind down their veggie patch in the backyard because it's under a foot of snow. So you folks who have found this video interesting and want to learn more, I can suggest you have a gander at this little video here. It's uh, how to start an aquaponics system and it's actually looking how at how this system was set up originally and I have a whole playlist just on this system itself if you want to check that out as well as a playlist that contains a load of informative videos looking at designing systems, different component builds and aspects of systems like the settlers and also the bell siphons and whatnot and a link to that playlist will also be down in the description below and you'll also find a number of these helpful videos have been added to our backyard aquaponics beginners guide as well. What sets the guide apart though is it's an online fully interactive guide Basically, you can look up a phrase by talking into the phone, then tap on text and it takes you to the exact position in different videos that you're interested in. Not only that, it's transcribed and translated into Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese and Hindi for you folks who have problems understanding my Aussie accent. So yeah, check that out if you're interested. Uh, links to those will all be down in the description and a link or two will pop up at the very end of the video as well. Uh, before I go, I would like to um, thank you all for coming along and having a bit of a gander at this reworked What is Aquaponics and How Does It Work video. And I'd like to thank all you folks who are supporting us by purchasing the guide, uh, supporting us through the YouTube membership platform, and also who have become patrons over on our Farm Your Own Yard website. Thank you very much to you all. We really do appreciate it. But I will pretty much will leave it there, and I will catch you next video. Cheers, folks, and happy growing.